All right, you guys. Today we're taking an in-depth look at the Filson short-lined cruiser. Uh, this is a tin cloth version. Let's take a look. Let's do a little rundown and see what we think of it. So, if you guys aren't familiar with the tin tin cr cruisers, it comes in four different types. Uh, they have the original type, which is the short cruiser, short tin cloth cruiser, which doesn't have the cotton lining or the polyester lining. Uh, they have this version with the poly lining and then there's a denim version with a lining similar to the Alaskan guide shirt. And more recently I just kind of lump them together but there's a rough out version coming up here and there's also a leather, uh, really nice uh, oiled leather version that's really really nice. But uh, actually there aren't that many videos of this jacket online, so I thought I'd give you guys an in-depth look. Um, first thing to notice, it does wear in really nice. Uh, this is after about uh, three months, three months of wear. Uh, it's been oiled twice. See the parts that rub a lot get some really nice wear in them. But uh, the key things is that it's a button closure on the front. You got hand warmer pockets on either side. Your front breast pocket on the left is a button pocket. And you got pen pockets and kind of a lighter slash knife pocket is what I use that for. Uh, you have darting built in, so it is a tapered fit, similar to like a Levi's trucker jacket. And then we jump inside of it here. that lining, but there are no inside pockets on this jacket. You can see. Anyway, it's got uh, side buttons for taking in the waist a bit, which doesn't work. And I'll show you that in a few minutes. But uh, on the back side here, you can see lots of fluff. Uh, no storage pocket in the back. One big panel, one panel for your shoulders. But no storage on the back, so that's another thing to keep in mind. So, another thing, button closure on the wrists, but only one button. So if you have small wrists, these are going to be huge on you. And if you have big wrists, they might be a little tight on you with no adjustment. Uh, Got about a five inch cut here for if you need to roll up your sleeves. See that lining comes all the way down. Different lining in the arms than in the body. You can see the body is this kind of gray color. Sleeves are lined with a slicker polyester. I'm not sure if that's a waterproofing thing. But uh, all the buttonholes on this jacket are sewn or cut, then sewn. Oh, sewn and cut, sorry. Uh, you got single stitching on the collar. Collar works very good after you've oiled it a few times. Uh, I oiled it right off the bat. I did the shoulders, uh, the seams, any seams you see, and then I oiled the collar, and now you can see it really stands up well. But anyway. Uh, double stitching on all the seams, uh, single on the collar, and on the back of the arms, it's double stitching. But uh, let's move in and take a closer look at the different components, let you know what you guys are getting. So here you can see a closer look at these pockets. I'll put some stuff in here for you. But uh, those are your pen pockets. You got two smaller ones. Generally what I do with those, this is a jacket I wear for work, I throw a sharpie in, throw in a carpenter's pencil, and I throw in a normal pin or pencil. And that's how I leave that pocket all the time. Next pocket over, I do a pipe tool and a CKRT. And then in the last pocket, I'll throw a, just a generic lighter. And then some other times I throw a flashlight in there too. 
uh, right pocket and use for whatever you want. I keep my wallet in there sometimes, but let's see. That's what the fabric looks like when you get it. That's how it looks after a few months. So it starts to look pretty good. Throw my case in there. Okay. Moving you guys down. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm trying to make this as smooth as possible. Whoa, I'm not going to work that well. But here are the hand warmer pockets. So they're pretty well sized. I've not had too many issues putting stuff in there, but still really not a replacement for the nice Mackinac pocket that I've a dump out over the top. But you can see, you can, compared to a large hand, you could fit pretty well in there. You could fit field books. I can fit really anything I need to in here. Now moving to the side, looking at this cuff, you see these cuffs are done. They come up here, they do a row stitch to keep it from unraveling, and they actually put a rivet in, which is nice. Um, rivets come all the way through the lining. You see that stitching on the back side? Nice brass rivets. And really nice buttons. These, uh, Filson buttons are actually one of my favorite features of this jacket. It's just really nice having these heavy buttons all over the place. Uh, looking down at the waist here, if you get back a bit, you can see this is the band there. Those are the closures for the jacket. And they come here. Because of the sizing we'll touch on in a minute here. They look kind of goofy, but here I'll move you guys back and we'll take a look at the jacket when it's on. All right, you guys, let's take a look. So, you know the first Filson jacket you guys bought? I assume a Mackinac Cruiser. And how when you first bought it every single day, you couldn't wait to put it on. Well, that's how this jacket is till you get to about this point. And then you run into a kind of an annoyance, I'd say. I'll show you that in a few minutes. But let's get this buttoned up. So I'm about six foot one, six foot two, uh, 250. This is a double XL. And see really nice pockets. Nice profile. Lots of room in the back for stretching around. Does ride up a bit though. But this is really based on a trucker jacket. And it shouldn't be surprising that the mobility is a little less than other jackets because you're designed to be sitting there like this. And on the topic of sitting here like this, let me show you something. So here we are, getting into our truck. That's the annoying part, is that because of how this jacket is cut, it is reflected in the name Short Line Cruiser, you have to upsize by so much to get it to fit your arms. If you're a long arm person like me, sitting down, it's the worst. But see, the arms are barely long enough. Body is just long enough. But the problem is, all of this, that's a good eight inches of loose material. Now this doesn't, this isn't bad if you need a layer underneath this, but it is kind of an orient, a jacket orientated for, uh, I wouldn't say it's a winter jacket, but like a fall, spring jacket where you're wearing your thick shirt, undershirt, and a jacket. And if you have to upsize this much, you end up with all this loose stuff all the time. You're just sitting there. 
And it's kind of annoying because it's a jacket that you want to fit like, I wouldn't say exactly like a Levi's trucker jacket, but you know how a Levi's trucker jacket fits. They have that taper, broad shoulders, nice length arms, and you get almost all of that. You get the arms, you get that taper till you get to here. So that's something for you guys to think about when you're looking at these jackets. Um, I can't speak for the denim version and I can't speak for the leather version, obviously, but this, uh, I, I'm not saying I regret this jacket at all. It's just something I didn't expect when I bought it online. Uh, I knew there'd be kind of an issue with length of it because a lot of guys on the reviews say that, yeah, it's a little janky when it comes to the length of the jacket, but that's okay. I'm really happy with it other than that. If you're layering, it's perfect. Uh, I just like to keep my waists tighter to keep the air out or air in and wind out. Uh, it'd be nicer to have an extra snap on these, so you could really tighten them down. Uh, what else about this? There's not much more. Um, it's really, it's an out, it's a, a jacket, an indoor commuter jacket made of outdoor jacket material. And that's about as profound as I can get with a review like this. But uh, you really see that the materials really do work. I use my collar every day there's wind. Keeps the wind off, keeps my neck warm, keeps me from getting cold. So it does its job. It's just the fitment issues that you would expect. I knew there's gonna be a fit issue. I didn't know which one is gonna be. I tried on the denim version at the Vancouver shop and it ended up being really short in the arms. I just tried an XL on there. The large was just ridiculous. I mean, like sleeves came up to here when you stretched out your arm. So getting about two inches or an inch per size. Um, but that's about all I got for you guys today. This is the Filson Shortline Cruiser, uh, about as in-depth of a look as I can give you guys. Uh, I would like to see triple stitching on it. Uh, it's just... With tin cloth, it is prone to ripping if you snag it, kind of like the the oil tin pants. If you tear this fabric, it will rip like no one's business. If you, if you catch somewhere on the arm here, you'll get a very distinct tear this way, a very distinct tear this way, and it'll just, it'll run. That's how they cut fabric. They just nick it and tear it. That's the best way to cut fabric because it always tears straight. So it'd be nicer to have that triple stitching on the seams and it'd be nice to have a wool liner option, really. Cotton's okay, but I think wool would be really, really nice. It'd be really cool to see that integration between wool and tin cloth and a jacket, but there you go, guys. Wearing my 33 ounce denim pants today, so they're pretty warm, but I'm rocking the Mackinac wool cap to hide my crazy hair, but also has nice earmuffs. Go for that full Elmer Fudd look. Also rocking the uh, Filson Northwest roll wool shirt. Very nice shirt, but if you guys do not like scratchy stuff, this is not the shirt for you. It is very scratchy. Uh, it really doesn't bother me that it's scratchy because it's wool, but I know lots of people just can't get over that feeling every day. Uh, long sleeve shirts recommended. And then homemade suspenders. Yeah. Anyway, this is a little sneak peek of other things I might be reviewing. So have a great day, everyone. See you later.